hey guys very warm welcome on my channel first of all i want to wish you very happy new year 2022 i wish this year brings a lot of successful life to you all and again welcome on my channel any psychology today we have a very very interesting topic about psychological uh, torture techniques so first of all the headline is white room torture so in this video we are going to discuss what is white room torture so white room torture is equal to worst punishments in the world so white room torture is one of the most worst punishments in the world in the field of psychology like a very rare and very worst punishment related to psychology a psychological worst punishment which is white room torture so we are going to discuss about that in this video so let's see first of all very quick definition of white room torture this is a punishment which is considered to be very dangerous and very scary punishment in all the world where the color white is used to deal with punishing prisoners a psychological torture method called white room where prisoners are isolated in white rooms wear white clothes and eat white food like rice from white plates only so have you ever thought that a color could be used as a mean of torture like have you ever thought that that a color can give you a torture so apparently yes it is being used as the very worst punishment in the world in the field of psychology white room torture is considered to be one of the most dangerous forms of psychological mental affection and of punishment white room torture is a form of psychological torture concerning complete isolation and sensory deprivation of the prisoners like white room torture where a person is locked in a completely white room white walls are there white doors and even the food served will be only white rice or like milk and curd even the bathroom and the infrastructure will be completely white in color sheets bed sheets prison clothes doors lights and everything else in the cell in the jail will be white in color also the food served is also rice as i told you curd or milk which is the color should be the main purpose of the food will be the color should be only white Furthermore, sensory deprivation is not only inflicted through the color but also the absolutely mute environment. For example, the prisoner should not listen anything, any sound from outside. Therefore, there has to be pin drop silence around the cell. The prisoner is kept in isolation and cannot talk to anyone. The prisoner is not allowed to talk to anyone. Even the slippers of the guards who are outside of the cell are padded so that the slippers of the guards are padded so that the prisoner cannot hear any sounds like for example if the guards are coming and he can hear the sound of the shoes you know so that's why the padded slippers are available for the guards who are coming to give the food and uh, apply the services like if he, the prisoner wants to go to the uh, washroom so the guards who will open the door their slippers will be padded so that he cannot the prisoner cannot hear anything and the clothes of the guards will be white. As an evident, white room torture has nothing to do with beating or physical beating or pain. Nevertheless, it is worse. Your brain is beaten up very badly even without touching you. You know, the mental pain and the mental torture is very much worse more than the physical pain. The purpose of such kind of punishment of white room torture punishment is usually to install fear in the prisoner. There are a lot of prisoners who experienced it, who experienced white room torture and when they came out from the cell and when they have uh, completed their punishment and they experienced it, they said it got extremely difficult to stay after three days. Till three days they have maintained their like uh, whatever they were having some kind of patience but after three days to stay in complete silence and to stay in a complete white room where always where everywhere there is white color it broke them very hard mentally but there was no physical torture or physical pain or beating kind of thing in the cell except the mentally pain which was causing them very much kind of depression so after spending a lot of days in white room, the prisoner loses his identity in the process. He cannot remember who he was and anyone from his family. So mostly they even believe a lie which is impossible to believe on because at that time they are mentally weak during this torture. And they have no sense to believe and what to believe and what not to believe. Their mind is totally weak at that time because... After spending a lot of time in silence and complete white room, there must be some kind of side effects to the person, to the prisoner. And also there is a conditioning of fear, like phobia attached to the color of white. So already the people who are suffering from this 
phobia of color white and if they get white room torture this is the hell torture for them this is the worst punishment for them in the world so the result of this torture is the loss of identity and numbness of senses also the prisoner abstains from white color and he has a fear and loses his ability to recognize known people like he will not recognize himself also or the prisoner will not recognize his family members after a lot of time spending in the white room so in the modern time the white room torture was used in Iran by the Iranian revolutionary government and also the main point is it is particularly developed in Iran only. Prisoners who went through this psychological torture explained their experiences as uh, deafening and inhumane like after staying a lot of time in white room torture they cannot even hear correctly because of the brain drop silence such instances came up in ireland us and venezuela as well like uh, ireland and venezuela and united states of america intelligence services nowadays these countries also are using this white room torture for the prisoner who have committed very uh, very much bad crimes Besides, this suffering goes on endlessly and the person never restores back to normal. Like the prisoner, if the prisoner is getting out after a lot of years after spending time in white room torture and he comes out, so he will never restore back to normal. Like he will, the suffering goes on endlessly and the prisoner never restores back to normal. As we said, and white room torture is like, it's like a psychological misery, you know which doesn't spare the prisoner even after getting out of the prison like even after he will get out of the prison he will get dreams or some kind of you know the side effects are for a lifetime so the prisoner will not restore back for sure for example we'll take that a prisoner has spent uh, five years in the white room torture and when he comes out he will get a very bad phobia or fear related to color white and wherever he will see white he will get scared he will get uh, you know in depression and whenever he will listen so many harsh and very heavy voices and very loud voices because he has been in five years in pin drop silence and whenever he will come out he will listen the sound of very heavy voices so what he will get he will get only depression and he will get scared and he will create a phobia from like heavy voices from loud voices and from the color white because he has been in the cell in the white room torture for five years and now he has created a kind of scareness or a kind of phobia towards that so now moving on now we will discuss on who gets this punishment and who deserves this punishment so criminals who did most creepiest crimes and journalists who spread fake news which has gone on totally wrong path for the country people who have defeated their own country or prisoners who has very created uh, very much bad crimes like you know murders and rapes and did very wrong deeds with people so those people deserves this white room torture punishment which is a very psychological mystery punishment now let's see how long does this punishment lasts what is the duration of the white room torture so this can last from months to several years there is no validity of the punishment minimum five months we can say about that and there's no maximum limitation for the punishment for the prisoner as well as all the effects of white room torture are well documented in a number of testimonials like whatever the prisoner is doing inside the cell he will be videoed and the video will be captured by the people who are watching that prisoner who is the prisoner is totally under cameras and he cannot do anything like the first of all he cannot even run because he's locked so whatever he will do whatever the side effects will come into him so it will be well documented so now let's see in which countries it is used most widely. So it was, as I told you, it was particularly developed in Iran. However, now there is also evidence of its use by Venezuela, Ireland and the United States of America intelligence services. After it's being used in Iran, so many officials of other countries also believed in the concept that mental pain is more effective than physical pain and beating and thus implement this torture on such people who deserve this punishment who has done Wrong deeds. After knowing about this torture, prison authorities in many countries like Venezuela, Ireland and United States of America thought that this could be implemented especially for those who are accused of rape cases and for murder cases, the cases which are very harsh to listen. So guys, here we are finished about our topic white room torture and white room torture as we told you the worst punishment in the world. So we have discussed about that today and white room torture it is like... Uh, 
psychological torture in the psychological field you know this torture is used by many psychologists and psychiatrists to the people who have done wrong deeds for the country and for the people living in the country so we have discussed about it today white room torture i hope you like today's topic and i hope you find it very informative and also uh, interesting and also very knowledgeable with that so if you like it you can give a like and if you want to share some kind of review or some kind of advice for my video that i can create more effective in another video you can just pass a comment on that and thanks for watching my video i hope you will be back again for my next video whenever it will come <laughs> so thank you for watching my video and i hope you will guys have a very positive and golden life ahead thank you bye bye